Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you wanted to know how to get this silver glitter party makeup look, then please keep watching. First of all, I'm starting off by moisturizing my face using the L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Essence Cream. This would make sure that my skin is very well hydrated and moisturized below the foundation and powder that I'm going to use. Then, I'm priming my face with Benefit's Professional Primer. This would provide a very nice smooth base for my makeup application. I'm pressing the primer into the areas where I have more visible pores. Now, I'm going in with Maybelline Dream Satin Foundation. I've actually pumped it in the back of my hands and I'm taking it off with my beauty blender and dabbing it all over my skin. Then I'm going in with my most favorite Elegal Pro Concealer. I'm actually concealing and highlighting high points of my face which is under my eyes, bridge of my nose, slightly on the forehead, below the cheekbones and around my mouth. I'm blending it all smoothly using a damp beauty blender. Next, for cream contouring, I am using the same Allegal Pro Concealer but in the shade Espresso. I am going over my cheekbones, my forehead, side of my nose and around my chin. And then, I am blending it well till there is no any harsh line visible. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with Pixi 2 Way Powder and setting the highlighted area using a powder brush. Then I'm powder contouring using the Bahama Mama Bronzer so that they give me a very nice shade and my face doesn't look flat. Moving into my eyes, I'm priming my eyes using the Allegal Pre Concealer and blending it using a beauty sponge. To set the concealers in place, I'm going in with the shade Foxy from Naked to Palette. This would provide a very nice and smooth base to work with and this would make sure that my eyeshadow blends very well. Then I'm taking the shade Tease from the same Naked to Palette and going onto my crease. I'm blending it well on my crease to make sure that I've very nice transition shade for the black color that I'm going to have on my eyelids. Now I'm taking the black shade from the same palette and slowly packing onto my eyelids. I'm just gradually developing the color step by step and I don't want it to be very neat because I'm going to blend out the edges. When I'm happy with the intensity of the black color, I'm blending the edges using a clean blending brush. Then I'm taking the shade Tease again and blending it on my crease. For my glitter, I'm taking the glitter from NYX and mixing it with NYX Glitter Primer and packing it on my eyelids. I'm gradually developing the intensity of the glitter 
and make sure that the glitter is only applied to half of my lids so that my eyeshadow looks nice and blended rather than looking super glittery. Then again I'm going in with the black shade and intensifying the edges to give a very nice dimension to the eyes. Again I'm taking a very little amount of glitter and packing it on the edges. I'm taking my black shade again and going into my outer areas and crease and making sure everything looks nice and blended. Then I'm taking the same black shade and smoking out my lower lash line. After I've smoked my lower lash line, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Gel Eyeliner in black shade and going very slightly on my eyes just as tight lining my eyes so that this would give an illusion of fuller lashes. Now I'm just filling in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Gel. To finish off my eye look, I'm using my most favorite 3D Mink Lashes. To set everything in place, I'm spraying Makeup Forever Setting Spray. And then I'm pressing it into my skin using a beauty blender as this method will make all the powders that I use blend into my skin and look just like my skin, not powder. And now the most important part, I'm going in with my Mary Luminizer highlighter and highlighting high points of my cheeks. Again, I'm going over with my Makeup Forever setting spray and pressing it into my skin with a beauty blender. This would make sure my highlighter blend into my skin and also how to intensify my highlighter. Last but not least, I'm wearing my lipstick in the shade Red Velvet. And that's the final look that I've created which is so appropriate for parties. If you guys like this look, please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you get notified for all my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.